in the wild with Chris. I do quite a lot of uh, camping using tarp shelters. In the last year I've been using one shape more. It's the plow point, also known as a diamond fly. The plow point tarp shelter is really quick to set up. It takes about five minutes when you get the hang of it. It gives you good shelter against uh, rain and snow, but also from the wind in three directions. The tarps I use are cheap plastic ones. I usually have a two by three meter plastic tarp. And these you can buy in just about any convenience store or hardware store. They are lightweight, they weigh about uh, 600 grams, and they come in a multitude of colors. So what you need to set it up is a plastic tarp, some string, about five or six meters, and three pegs. Here I use tent pegs, but you can make your own wooden pegs. So let me show you how to put it up. Here I got a good base tree. After I get rid of the snow, Shoo. now I'm going to put out the tarp and see uh, where to put my first stake. Put the tarp on the ground to decide the placing. Since I use a rectangular tarp, the sides will be a different shapes and size. Try to estimate where the wind is coming from. That side will need the most cover. String up a guy line, and then I can adjust the tarp's position over that. You can do it without a guy line, just tying the top and the bottom corners, but I find it more adjustable using a guy line, and it also gives you a better stretch and less sagging. On my string I have made knots to fasten the top of the tarp so it doesn't slide around. Tie the guy line to a tree, adjusting the height to how high you want the head end to be. I usually aim for about 180 centimeters or 6 feet up. The lower you have, the more shelter you will have, but access will be more cramped. Put the tarp on over the guy line. Fasten the bottom corner first at the same stake as the guy line. Fasten the top corner, either to a pre-made knot on the guy line or the tree itself. Fasten the side corners with stakes. Here you might have to go back and forth a little to adjust the stretch of the fabric. And now you have a shelter that protects you and your gear from rain and wind. The flap on the lee side can be folded over the guy line for east access to your shelter. And on that side you can also make a campfire. One disclaimer here. I really suck at knots. It's either granny knots or, but somehow I make it work. So this is how you set up a plow point or a diamond fly tarp shelter really quick. So the pros with a plow point tarp shelter is that it's uh, really quick to set up. You just need one tree. It's got a good rain runoff. It's protected from the wind in three directions. And there's a lot of space for you and your gear and it's easy access. The cons are that, yes, it's open to the wind in one direction, and there's no floor cover with this tarp shelter. At home, you can try out different shapes for a tarp shelter with a little paper folding or origami. Cut paper to the same dimensions as your tarp and your sleeping pad for comparison, and fold it in different ways to see what shapes you can build. I just started up an Instagram account to share pictures of uh, when I'm out in the wild. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful for when you're going out camping using a tarp shelter. If you did, please uh, give it a like, uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this is In the Wild with Chris and I'm out.